In the 1970s, the first Black Panther series was, was being done. There weren't obviously a lot of black characters. Pop culture was not where it is now, as you guys are doing this film. I wish we had the backing in terms of people believing in the project. They felt they were giving me a book that was going to die. The Black Panther wasn't an important character, but the reason that we got to do what we did was because they didn't have time to read those books. They caught on to it, I think, about three, four issues in, and then said, hey, wait a minute, but it was too late. Right. It's already a novel, and then I could do it. What made it unique was uh, just the idea at the time. Not only was this a black superhero, and it was kind of a shock when he pulls off his mask and reveals himself to be an African king, but he's also uh, rich, very smart, yep. the king of a kingdom, and he single-handedly defeats Marvel's premier uh, family group, the Fantastic Four. And this was all being done and delivered to a largely white and male audience at the time. So it was kind of a, a shockwave, in a sense, uh, and delivered at a time of civil unrest during the growth of the civil rights movement. And it just showed what a progressive thinker uh, Stan was and still is uh, to this day.